All right, so I was not expecting that video of my smudge pot to blow up like it did. So I guess I'm gonna give you guys a little walk through this thing, show you how to light it, and how it burns, and how to shut it up. So basically how this thing works is you got your little reservoir down here. That basically you just pour any kind of go-go juice in here, any flammable liquid works. This is a little bit of cooling in it, but that stuff burns just fine. And uh, when you light it off, basically what happens is the flames come up this way and it superheats through this pipe back down into the reservoir. So all the heat that's coming out of here, some of it is charged and thrown back down there to superheat the oil and burn it. Basically all I do to light this thing is grab a little rag, put some diesel on it or whatever, throw it in there. You can see it right there, it's starting to drag oxygen in and heat through the pipe there and you'll see it here start to kind of catch and I'm back in a couple minutes and show you what it looks like when it's up to 10. It's pretty well caught now it's been about three minutes I'd say and you can see it's chooching pretty good up there so all you gotta do now shut this little flap turn it on there and you'll see it'll start to kind of clear up a little bit and here in a couple minutes there will hardly be any smoke. Here's my little funnel that I used to uh, put more oil in her. Angus is pretty interested in that. I wouldn't touch that, buddy. I don't know about that. So now it's been running for about, I'd say, probably eight minutes now, and she's getting pretty cherry red getting up there. But um, a lot of people were commenting that it smokes a lot this or that. And if you turn this sucker down right here, just like turning down fuel on a diesel pickup, she burns super clean. But if you want her to roll coal, all you gotta do is open her up like that and she rolls. What you really gotta do to shut this guy off is close off the oxygen there. And then I just have this old pot right here that fits nicely up on the stack there. And now fire has no oxygen, has no way to uh, get the smoke out. So it basically just chokes itself out in a couple minutes and and whenever you want to, you can make them later back up, and that's it. Why we ain't scared of the Rona part two? Like I said, on my edge of my cage. Fact number four. Throughout a redneck's life, we have seen people survive shit that is just simply unsurvivable. You know that expression, hold my beer? Every one of these situations is one of them. I've seen shotguns explode right in front of a motherfucker's face because the load was too high. His response alone lets you know not to fuck with that man. God damn, Billy, did you see that shit? Motherfucker, fuck me, I have a gun. When considering the fact that he was more concerned with his gun than his face, you learned something. I've seen a motherfucker shoot a framing gun through three of his fingers, pull it out, wrap it up, and fucking go back to work. My like, god damn, did you see that? I've known the same crackhead at the corner store for 25 years, and he has survived every storm that ever came through with no fucking house. How the fuck you do that? I've seen a motherfucker flip a four-wheeler 17 times down a hill with no helmet and get up and jump up and go, God damn, that's fun. Yeah, so we ain't scared. But that's the thing about it, because see, like black people, we think just because we born black, we just think we can beat up white dudes in our mind. We like, white boy, beat your motherfucker there. You better go on with that bullshit, boy. You don't do that shit in the country, man. I'm trying to tell you, that shit ain't gonna go like you think at all. You motherfucker be like, come on, son, bitch. Woo! Let's go, Bubba, let's do it, buddy. You be like, oh, you know what? Everybody just need to calm down for a second. Listen, listen, is it Trevor? It's Trevor, right? Is it Trevor? Let me, let me get you a beer, bro. Shit. Fuck. I ain't trying to get Bobby Boucher down this bitch, nigga. <laughs> If you know any of these phrases, then you grew up around some country badasses. God damn, it's colder than a witch's titty in a brass bra. Ooh, it's colder than a well digger's ass in Montana. It's hotter than two rats fucking in a wool sock. Ooh, I'm sweating like a whore in church. I believe I'm about full as a tick right now, I'll tell you what. Dang, he's madder than a wet hen. Hurry the hell up, I ain't trying to be out here until the cows come home. What do you mean you can't? Can't never could, boy damn. Mm-mm-mm, never in my life, I swear. Never in my life. <laughs> Dang, check her out, Billy. She fine as frog hair. That ain't worth a hill of beans right there. Hey, you better calm down. You're getting too big for your britches. Ooh, Billy, that ain't been rolled hard and put up wet, son. Lord. Man, I've been knowing that boy since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. 
If your mama done any of these things, you was probably raised by a redneck woman. She'd use phrases like, I'm gonna beat you like a redheaded stepchild. You trying to meet Jesus today, boy? You better do what the hell I said before I streak that ass. And then if she was sure enough mad, she'd start talking without moving her teeth. You little motherfucker, you better get your ass in the house right now. Don't make me tell you again. And if you was a real badass kid, like me, for the first eight years of your life, you thought your name was Little Motherfucker. How you 100% knew this motherfucker was mad and not to fuck with her? She started putting the H before the W. You better quit watching that before I whip your ass, boy. I told you not to get that white shirt dirty, boy, goddammit. Come here. <sighs> Whipping your ass. And then she would say the six deadliest words known to man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just wait till your daddy gets home. No, mama. <laughs> mama, please. Don't do that. And if you was like me, pops didn't live there. So she'd drop you off by the road by his house. Then he'd ask why you got a black eye. Then you'd say you thought mama's crazy. Then he'd black your other eye. <laughs> If you can't do these things, you don't need to have kids. If you are not prepared to live the next 18 to 20 years with a miniature version of yourself, do not have kids. You would think that shit would be awesome, but it is not. It has its moments where it is pretty cool throughout the year. 99% of that bitch is you arguing with a version of yourself. The smart ass version with extra not give a fucks. Number two, if you cannot answer every random fucking question on the planet within 1.7 seconds, do not have kids. Be aware that when you do not have an answer for this fucking question, that you will be asked repeatedly for the next two hours. Number three, be fully aware that it will be at least a decade before you can take a shit by yourself uninterrupted again. There will be no more sitting here playing Candy Crush or whatever the hell. There will be no more sitting here watching highlights of fights or football. From now on, all you will do while shitting is the first two that I mentioned. Welcome to parenthood, bitches. Shit, mom, when's dinner gonna be ready? Dinner will be ready in a minute, honey. Watch your tongue. So I wanted to address this issue for just for the redneck folk, you know what I mean? Cause we get thrown in with the rest of the white folk and we don't like it. See, the rest of the population views white parents as this video. While this video was funny as hell, it does contribute to the stereotype that I speak of. See, redneck mamas ain't like it. A redneck mama would have hit your ass with that spoon by the time you got shh out of your mouth. And if you said something else, a right hook come behind that motherfucker. Or an ear snatch. You didn't want that, I'd rather eat the hook. I'm just saying, they didn't play no games. Fucked around and got that belt out, and she whipped that motherfucker like a rope. You know what I mean? Just fuck around, catch it all the way down the back, knock all the sound out your ass. Just... You having to make up stories of why you got a black eye at school and shit. I'm just saying, we went through the struggle. We ain't trying to go be bunched in that group, too. We took our ass whoopings. Damn that. You see that shit? He made a ghost gun. Like, if we figure out a way to make that faster, Billy, we invented a gun that needs no ammo. Shh. I can dream if I want. I'm heading to Home Depot to get a garbage can. Y'all have a good day. Y'all know why black people like eating soup? Because they can drown crackers. I knock on every door. We're going to ask them if they have their vaccine, and if they don't... You ain't going to do shit. Not around this motherfucker, you ain't. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. See, we already know y'all ain't got no balls and you'd have done it a long time ago. So you got to take the guns first. We know that. That's why we fight so hard when y'all start fucking with the Second Amendment. Personally, I don't give a damn about no vaccine. Y'all ain't finna stick me with shit. I ain't really too much concerned about no coronavirus. I ain't wore a mask since day one and I'm straight. And for the doctors and nurses, carry on with your comment. I've already heard that bullshit. Thank you. But again, sir, like I said, you ain't doing shit. Ha. Your bald-headed ass over there probably barely wiped your ass for real. I mean, we gonna knock on every home, and if they don't have one, we're gonna give them one. Please give me a reason to give my son permission to blow your knee out. All the way out. It's your old retarded ass. Leave people alone. Go home. Sh you wanna know what fucking sucks? I'll tell you what fucking sucks. Shoveling a ton of gravel. That fucking sucks. The whole entire time I'm shoveling, all I'm thinking is, who the fuck are the women that want equal rights? The women's movement. Who wanted to do the man's work? Because I fucking didn't. I'd rather be inside making sandwiches and serving iced tea. Fuck this bullshit. 
I don't want to be equal. I don't want any part of being equal. I will make sandwiches. I will cook dinner. I will wear an apron. I will clean house. I'll vacuum. I'll do whatever I got to do to keep from fucking shoveling rock. And the difference between TikTok is, and Facebook is after I get this shit done, I'm going to get on Facebook and brag about everything I accomplished and how fucking happy I am. But just know the truth. I'm pissed. I'm not happy. It doesn't make me feel good. No, no part of it. Don't want to do it. My neighbor's always like, hey, don't you need a permit for that? Don't you need to be minding your business, Billy? Hold up, Trey. Hold up. That is not Billy. Billy ain't finna do that, you feel me? Billy is the name of a redneck. Rednecks don't snitch, you feel me? We gonna stay and watch, or we gonna help you. We ain't snitching. See, the white folk, you talking about, they name like Timothy, or Bradley, or Keith, or something like that. Not Billy, not Ricky, not Billy Ray, nothing like that. We solid. So I hope you have fun doing your project. I'm gonna stay and watch, drink this six pack right here. If you need a hand, just holler at me, Trey. Almost forgot to tell you, if you hear anything like this, if you hear any of those, you put your shit up, all right? I can probably stall for like five, ten minutes. That's it. Then he coming your way, all right? But we got you, fam. Go on, go on, get back to work. <laughs> System of a down on banjo, dude. <laughs> Here's some aerials. <laughs> Just cause I'm stupid don't mean I'm dumb. Look at you, looking like you just walked out of the master's catalog. Oh, I get it, because of my visor. No, I wear this to keep the sun out of my eyes, which, come to think of it, looks like your neck's getting a little bit red. Do not come after my race. Redneck? Yeah. Oh, redneck's not a race, it's a, it's a way of life. Honestly, I'm just glad somebody realized it for once, man. Oh, I'm glad I could be of service to you, Jeff Foxworthy. Just cause you go down to Charleston and overpay for shrimp and grits don't make you all high and mighty. Yuppie. I bet you've never been to Hall's Chop House downtown. I don't like to chop wood. Oh. I bet you ain't never been to Tadpole Fish Camp. No, sir. I enjoy neither fishing nor camping. Let me learn you something, Bo. Who's Bo? You, Bo. Bo? Wait, what? Bless your heart. No, bless your heart. If money can buy you anything, why ain't you got a personality? You got a man. Anything else I can do you for? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a basket of peaches. Uh, you got cash or card? Uh, do you accept Apple Pay? No, no, you can't pay for peaches with apples, man. That's not how we do it around here. Oh, okay. Uh, the sacrifices of hanging out with my redneck brother. Is there heat in here or? <laughs> that is not working. And what time is that? Uh, <laughs> you text in. Your business. <laughs> When she says you can get whatever you want as long as it fits in the basket. Here's our list of top cheap beers. Yeah, Paps, I get it. Either love it or you hate it. But you know what? Cheap beer has its place. Sometimes you want to just drink one beer and be wasted. You want to drink a bunch of beers, then get wasted. So I'm going to show you our top five best-selling cheap beers. I'm sure this comes as no surprise to everyone, but you know what? Bud Light, cheap beer, but we sell a ton of it. That's right, Paps, it's on the list. It's a solid beer. Coors Light also makes the list. You know, it happens to be one of my favorites if I'm drinking a uh, light beer. Also to make the cut, Miller Light. So 
I don't know if you can have a list of cheap beers without mentioning Miller High Life. You know, after all, it is the champagne of beers. Or maybe you're like me. You don't want to drink a bunch of beer to get that buzz. You want to drink two beers to get that same buzz and drink something like uh, Dragon's Milk, which is 11% alcohol, which will knock anyone on their butt. Or how about you level up? Maybe only one beer that does the trick? Well, hey, I got you covered with that bad boy. How about this beer from Avery? Almost 20% alcohol. You pour this in a glass, you drink it, you'll be good. Cheers. Like I don't mind, but we're so toxic lately. Don't you waste my time. Who you been fucking faking like I'm out of sight. This love ain't real and we don't feel right. It's me or them, but you won't decide. So won't you let go? Don't wanna.